Hello friends and welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom for another time of Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. Glad you're here. Come on in the house. Gonna wait just a little bit and let folks gather. There's Kathy and Jeffrey. Hello. Good evening. Um, I'm Tom Dendy. I'm pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church located in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And I'm glad to have you joining me again for Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. Uh, our theme for this week is Celebrate the Saints of God. Um, we've got All Saints Day coming up this coming Sunday, November 1st, and we'll be gathering for worship. We also have the time change, so we fall back an hour sometime after midnight, and we'll gather then Sunday morning, and we'll celebrate the saints of God on All Saints Day at Celebration Presbyterian Church. Come on in the house. I see we're gathering. Welcome. Welcome, folks. Come on in and be a part of what we're up to here. It's Tuesday evening, virtual Vespers. And I've got some scripture and some prayers and some songs I've tried to learn out of the hymn book uh, that are all related to everyday saints, what it means to be a saint of God. So come on in the house. I'm going to start by sharing some scripture. And it comes from Matthew chapter 5 part of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. I'm going to invite you to listen. Hear the word of God. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets." Come on in the house, being slow to gather tonight. Come, friends, join in our Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. I've got a welcoming song. Maybe we'll get them going. God welcomes all, strangers and friends. God's love is strong and it never with me. God welcomes all strangers and friends. God's love is strong and it never ends. God welcomes all strangers and friends. God's love is strong and it never ends. Come in the house. God's love is strong. Try again. God welcomes all, strangers and friends. God's love is strong and it never ends. God welcomes all, strangers and friends. God's 
So uh, our theme tonight is celebrating everyday saints. Uh, as we're coming up on All Saints Day this Sunday, November 1st. So join me now for a call to worship. Come worship God who has glory and immeasurable greatness. This is the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come, we have been called by God to a marvelous hope and inheritance among God's saints. God calls us all to be saints. Saints are everyday people, great or ordinary, who follow God's ways. Friends, we're invited to come. Come and worship. Join together as everyday saints and let's worship God together. Our next song is uh, got two names Here in This Place and Gather Us In. Here in this place the new light is streaming Now is the darkness vanished away See in this space our fears and our dreamings Brought here to you in the light of this day Gather us in the lost and forsaken Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of your name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery. We are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly, Give us the courage to enter the song. Here we will take the wine and the water. Here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters. Call us anew to be sought for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion. Give us to eat the bread of that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion lives that are holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some heaven light years away. Here in this place the new light is shining. Now is the kingdom and now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever. Gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, all peoples together, fire of love in our flesh and our bones. Here in this place, by Marty Hagen. Excuse me, I can't get my page turned. All right, let's look to God now in prayer. Welcome, everybody. Come on in the house. Glad to have you here. I see the Carols in the house. Dana Zalu in the house. Linda's in the house. Welcome, one and all. Welcome. Pray with me. We give you thanks, O God.
for all the saints who ever worshipped you, whether in brush arbors or cathedrals, weathered wooden churches or crumbling cement meeting houses, where your name was lifted and adored. We give you thanks, O God, for hands lifted in praise, manicured hands and hands stained with grease or soil, strong hands and those gnarled with age, holy hands used as wave offerings across the land. We thank you, God, for hard-working saints, whether hard-hatted or steel-toe-booted, head-ragged or aproned, blue-collared or three-piece suited. They left their mark on the earth for you, for us, for our children to come. Thank you, God, for the tremendous sacrifice made by those who have gone before us. Bless the memories of your saints, God. May we learn how to walk wisely from their examples of faith, dedication, worship, and love. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Next, I have um, a hymn written by John Bell to a familiar tune of O Wally Wally or The Water is Wide. It's called For All the Saints. For all the saints who've shown your love in how they live and where they move for mindful women caring men accept our gratitude again for all the saints who loved your name Whose faith increased the Savior's fame, who sang your songs and shared your word, accept your gra our gratitude, good Lord, for all the saints who named your will. And showed the kingdom coming still Through selfless protest, prayer, and praise Except the gratitude we raise Bless all whose will or name or love Reflects the grace of heaven above, though unacclaimed by earthly powers, your life through theirs has hallowed ours, though unacclaimed by earthly powers. Your life through theirs is hallowed ours. For all the saints, written by John Bell, who's part of the Iona community in Iona, Scotland. Listen now to our second scripture. It comes from Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 to 17. After this I looked, and there was a multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and they worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. And then one of the elders addressed me, saying, 
Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God, and they worship God day and night within God's temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more. They will thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. And he will guide them to springs of, water, of the water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Our theme again is celebrating the everyday saints of God as we're coming up on All Saints Day on November 1st, this coming Sunday. And this scene in Revelation shows the gathering of the saints of God around the throne of God. Our next hymn out of the hymnal is, I Sing a Song of the Saints of God. And it's by... The text is by Lesbia Scott and the music by John Henry Hopkins. And this is a new one to me. I'm going to try to hold it together, folks. I sing a song of the saints of God. I sing a song of the saints of God, patient and brave and true, who toiled and fought and lived and died for the Lord that love they knew. And one was a doctor, and one was a queen, and one was a shepherdess on the green. They were all of them saints of God, and I mean, God help me to be one too. They love their Lord so dear, so dear, and God's love made them strong. And they fo followed the light right for Jesus' sake the whole of their good lives long. And one was a soldier, and one was a priest, and one was slain by a fierce wild beast. And there's not any reason, no, not the least, why I shouldn't be one too. They live not only in ages past, there are hundreds of thousands still. The world, the world is bright with the joyous saints who love to do Jesus' will. You can meet them in school or in lanes or at sea, in the church or in trains or in shops or at tea. For the saints of God are just folk like me, and I mean to be one too. Yes, the saints of God, saints of God are just folk like me, and I mean to be one too. You can be one too, friends. Everyday saints, people chosen by God to just be the children of God. It's not something we do ourselves or earn. We simply are God's beloved children. Thanks be to God. So let's talk briefly about what does it mean to be an everyday saint of God. Perhaps the formula that Martin Luther used that is most famous and most telling is his formula that is simul jus justus a peccator. And if any formula summarizes or captures the essence of the Reformation view, it's this little formula. <clears throat> the first word, simul, is the word from which we get the English word simultaneously, or it means at the same time. Justice is the Latin word for just or righteous. And et, et, simply means and. 
and peccator means sinner. And so with this formula, Luther was saying, in our justification, we are one in the, at, at one and the same time both righteous and sinners. Or as it was told to me in seminary, the inscription on Martin Luther's beer stein said, saint and sinner, one and the same. He was saying from one perspective in Christ, we are just and righteous. Yet in another sense, we are still sinners. And he defines it that simply. In and of ourself, um, under our own analysis of God's scrutiny, we know that we're still sinners. We have not been perfected. But by substitutionary grace, by God's good grace, and faith in Jesus Christ, whose righteousness is credited to our account, we are considered by God just or righteous. Friends, this is the very heart of the gospel. And this is what makes Christ followers like you and me part of this band of people who are everyday saints. As the hymn said, all who preceded us in the faith we're everyday saints, and I want to be one too. Now, this has been an anxious time throughout 2020. How can you focus on Jesus Christ and act out of your faith and your love for him? Are there ways that you can see to reach out as an everyday saint? When you think of saints, persons in your life, who do you think of? Who are you remembering? What about them stands out in your memory? And for what in their lives do you give thanks? I think of my mom. I received this past weekend a little crystal angel that hospice had given to dad after mom passed away. And it's got her birth and death dates on it. And um, I think that's real special. My mom is an everyday saint, and I'm grateful for her um, influence in my life and for her ongoing love in my life. When you think about heavenly worship like we read and described out of Revelation, how does that feel to you? What does that scene of the saints of God circling around God's throne mean to you? What does it mean to be a child of God? And what would it do in our world? What difference could it make if we could help everyone realize that they are beloved children of God? What would it mean to help folks realize that we are blessed like those folks mentioned in the Beatitudes? They're not the Folks who seem to have it all made, that's not who Jesus lifts up as blessed. But when you read through the Beatitudes and picture Jesus seeing the needs of the people around him and saying to them, blessed or happy are you, yours is the kingdom of God. Well, ponder what it means in your life to think of yourself as one of God's everyday saints. I'm going to share another song, another hymn, Rejoice in God's Saints. <clears throat> Re Rejoice in God's saints today and all days. A world without saints forgets how to praise Their faith in acquiring the habit of prayer Their depth of adoring, Lord help us to share Some march with events, events to turn them God's way some need to withdraw the better to pray 
some carry the gospel through fire and through flood. Our world is their parish, their purpose is God. Rejoice in those saints, unpraised and unknown, who bear someone's cross or shoulder their own. They shame our complaining, our comforts, our cares. What patience and caring, what courage is theirs? Rejoice in God's saints, Today and all days, a world without saints forgets how to praise. In loving, in living, they prove it is true. The way of self-giving, Lord, teach us, lead us to you. The way of self-giving, Lord, lead us to you. Rejoicing in God's saints. As we celebrate what it means to be everyday saints within the life of God's church, in this time and place, passing on traditions of God's love. Friends, I thank you for coming out. I want to remind you of some things. Um, I'm going to continue these Tuesday evening virtual Vespers for the foreseeable future at 7.30 on Tuesday evenings. Sarah Abhishakra continues to prepare and share beer and hymns on Thursday evening, and that is at 6.30 p.m., and you're encouraged to bring a beverage of your choice to join in the singing of, of hymns. Our Sunday worship this Sunday, November 1st, All Saints Day is at 11 a.m. Some will join us in person for worship. Many of you will continue to join us through Facebook live stream, and all of us will celebrate worship together. And as part of our worship, we'll have Holy Communion, so if you'll be celebrating at home, prepare your juice and your bread of choice, or drink and bread of choice, to be ready to share in Holy Communion. Uh, we've also got Trudy back on Sunday mornings providing time with young, young disciples. So if you're coming and you're bringing your child, we do have uh, Children's Church. We encourage you to watch your weekly emails from Celebration to get the updates of things going on in the life of our church. Um, and read them, please. You'll find they're very informative. I encourage us all to stay safe as the COVID-19 pandemic is heading into another wave, it seems. Get your flu shot, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, wear a mask for safety and for the safety of others if you must be out. Practice six foot social distancing. Stay in if you can, especially if you have fever or COVID-19 or regular flu symptoms. Keep check on family, friends, and neighbors by phone and offer if you're going out to bring supplies back to those who are vulnerable and needing not to be out. We say do the best you can to do the best you can day by day for the foreseeable future, my friends. 2020 has been a landmark year just when you think it can't get weirder, it gets weirder still. So hang on and know that God loves you and that God is with us in the midst of all that is going on. All right, I want to share another song. Sing along with me. When the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the invitation comes to join the marriage feast on high. 
Oh Lord, I want to be in that number at the wedding feast on high. Oh, when the Lord in glory comes, oh, when the Lord in glory comes, oh Lord, I want to be in that number when the Lord in glory comes. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. One more time, oh, when the saints go marching in, Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Well done, well sung. I could see those little hearts popping up. I know you're singing along. Thank you very much. I want to offer a charge and a benediction for our Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. As everyday saints, go on your way rejoicing, surrounded as you are by such a great cloud of witnesses. Take courage as you face each new day and each new challenge, and find comfort when you pick yourself up from a fall. And whatever good you choose to do, proceed it with hope, accompany it with prayer, and follow it with thanksgiving. And the blessing of God most wonderful, whom the saints have trusted as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, or Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer God, this God, one God, the God who loves us and considers us beloved children, will be with us now and forevermore closing song I have for you tonight may be a bit of a challenge for me but it's for all the saints and this one is by William Howe and Ralph Vaughn Williams and it's from our hymnal here it goes for better or worse everyday saints for all the saints who from their labor rest thee by faith before the world will confess thy name O Jesus be forever blessed Alleluia fortress and their might, thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight, thou, thou, in the darkness drear and their one true light, Steals on the ear the dear. 
distant triumph song, and hearts are brave again, and arms are strong. wide bounds from oceans for this coast through gates of pearl in countless countless hosts singing to Father Son and Holy Ghost Alleluia love that hymn. It's not an easy one to play on guitar, but I love that hymn. We do thank God for all the saints. My dogs are barking in the background. I want to thank you all for coming out again tonight in support of uh, Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. If you're in the area, I invite you to join us on Sundays at 11 a.m. We're at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard located in the Carolina Forest community of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And it, wherever you are, if you have Facebook access, join us by Facebook Live. Also at 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, we look forward to having you. And just want to remind you that God loves you, so do we, and we pray your safety throughout this continued COVID crisis. Come be a part of our Everyday Saint celebration on this All Saints Day Sunday, coming up November 1st. Hope to see you. Take care. God bless.